Welcome back to the Algebraic Substitutions Calculator video. I'm Don Sebsik, founder of Math Celebrity, and in the next three minutes, you're going to discover how to master algebraic substitutions. So let's get started. First, what is an algebraic substitution? What we're doing is we're taking an algebraic expression, and I'll show you an example in a moment, and we're given variable values. What we want to do is substitute the values for each variable back into the algebraic expression. Or thinking about this another way, we're replacing variables with their equivalent values. Now, how do you know if you have an algebraic substitution problem? Well, there's a couple clues, and they go like this. First, you'll be given an algebraic expression. An example is 4a plus 3b. Algebraic expressions have a mix of numbers and variables. Second, you'll be given a set of variable values. So for each variable in the algebraic expression, you're going to be given a numeric equivalent. So example for this is a equals 1 and b equals 2. And finally, you'll be asked to evaluate or calculate this expression. So with those rules in your head, let's look at an example. We've got a problem here that says evaluate 6a plus 3b minus 9c for a equals 2, b equals 3, and c equals 1. Now let's walk through our three-step tip-off to why this is an algebraic substitutions problem. First, we've got 6a plus 3b minus 9c. This is a standard algebraic expression. Second, we're given variable values for all three variables, a, b, and c. And finally, we're asked to evaluate that expression. Now, I'm going to show you what to do next, but notice I've color-coded the three variables a, b, and c, and I'll show you why in a moment. What we want to do is substitute the values of the variables, so right here, back into the algebraic expression up here. And then we want to evaluate. So 6a, let's start with a. a is 2. They want you to substitute a equals 2, so we do that here. b is 3, so we substitute b equals 3 right here. And finally, c equals 1, so we drop 1 right here. Now let's evaluate and simplify. 6 times 2 is 12. 3 times 3 is 9. And 9 times 1 is 9. Simplifying this, we get 12. Now when we evaluate 6a plus 3b minus 9c for these variable values, the answer is 12. So all we're doing is we're taking the values that we've been given for each variable, dropping them back into the algebraic expression, evaluating and simplifying, and that is it. It's that simple. And I recommend using the color code if you get a chance, and I'll show you a place where you could do that in the blink of an eye right now. So what if you have more algebraic substitutions problems and you need help and you don't want to look at this presentation and mix and match numbers? Well, my friends, I've got you covered. We have an algebraic substitutions calculator on our website. And I'm going to post a link to this in the YouTube video description. But the way it works is you type your problem in the first box, so your algebraic expression, you're going to type your substitution values in the second box, and you're going to hit Calculate or Evaluate. Let's take a look at an example. So we're going to go to this link here, which is right here. You type your algebraic expression in this box. You type your substitution variable values in this box, and you want to separate each by a comma. And when you're ready, hit Evaluate. And this is going to run through your problem and evaluate the algebraic substitution. So we're substituting a with 2, b with 3, c with 4. And we do that down here, simplify, and we get negative 15. So anytime you need help or you feel stuck with algebraic substitutions, just hit the link in the YouTube description, drop your algebraic expression here, substitution values here, click evaluate, and we've got you covered. Once again, I want to thank you for spending time with me on this video. And I will catch you in the next video.